This week, we've got a treat. I am heading down to the Cardinals Spring Training, which unlike the fantasy baseball, we are going to watch competent adults play professional baseball. For those that are into baseball, it's gonna be a baseball heavy theme. If you're not into baseball, come back next week and we'll be back on the road in a whole bunch of other crazy cities and around North America and the rest of the world talking about other leadership themes in addition to baseball. my girls already. My mom's here. Let's go find her. Attending. We're going to uh, go grab some dinner and then uh, head to the Cardinals games tomorrow. So uh, let's get this week going, shall we? See you tomorrow. So I'm down in Jupiter, Florida with my mom. This is our sixth annual mom's trip to spring training, Florida. Kelly and I each do a separate mom's trip every year. As everybody who's seen Play Ball Volume 1, which is my experience in the fantasy camp, baseball was such an important part of, of my growing up and it taught me a lot of the lessons in life about how to win, how to lose, how to be a leader, about practice, 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 about relying on your teammates, and just a number of really important valuable lessons that I think everybody can learn in leadership from baseball. And we'll continue to explore that over the coming weeks and months with the Doug McConey vlog. I'm outside Roger Dean Stadium. Got a new Cardinals lid. Cardinals won today. The lessons in baseball are lessons in leadership. The lesson that I took out of today was there's a player for the Cardinals, his name's Matt Adam. He lost, I think, 20 or 30 pounds over the off season, really getting himself in fantastic shape. The Cardinals moved somebody else over to play first base in his position. And he played his first game since apparently he was a little leaguer in left field. He's never played professional or to my knowledge even college baseball in left field. I think there's a couple lessons for that. Number one, as a leader, as somebody who runs an organization, think outside the box. Where are there opportunities to use people in a situation that you wouldn't think of before? The second lesson is as a team member, put yourself in a position to be as versatile as possible. Look for opportunities outside your normal day-to-day -day that you can contribute to a team's success. We are uh, heading to game two. Um, this is our hotel. We gotta walk all the way to the stadium. Which is right there. You ready, Mom? We made it into the stadium. today. Leadership lesson from today's game was something that I saw Adam Wainwright, who was the starting pitcher, exhibit. 
Carlos Martinez, the young Cardinals flamethrower, had been announced as the opening day pitcher. Strong leaders know when it's time for the next generation to take the lead. Adam Wainwright has done an incredible job at teaching these young people how to be better pitchers, how to be better players, how to be better teammates, how to be better leaders. And passing that torch on, that symbolism of the opening day pitcher, passing that on to the next young talent and the class that he showed when Matheny made the decision is, is absolutely critical for a leader. As a leader, don't be afraid to be overtaken. Hope that you have members on your team that can be better than you are because that's gonna make the entire team better. The other exciting thing, I got a foul ball today. Where the logo? All right, go cards. Game three tomorrow. We're at the ballpark of the Palm Beaches. Uh, my, we'll see how long my mom's hat lasts. I brought my small hat so the big one didn't blow away. Name these presidents. So we finished our third game. We uh, are now down in Singer Island. Um, that is the intercoastal. That is the Atlantic Ocean. The leadership lesson for today's game is a, a theme that I've dedicated an entire vlog to, and that is being patient in your career. The catcher for the Cardinals today was Carson Kelly. And Carson is one of, if not the top rated catchers in the minor leagues. Unfortunately for him, Yadier Molina, who is one of the best catchers in Major League Baseball currently, is still playing for the Cardinals. Carson Kelly has such a positive attitude. He is doing everything he can to learn everything he can while he is in this position in the minor leagues. And just to see the way he was interacting with the other players, the coaches, asking as many questions as he possibly could to really learn while he can before he gets his big opportunity. So the lesson is be patient, wait for your turn. If you have the talent and you do put in the work, your time will come. We're gonna spend the next day hanging out with my mom here on Singer Island. Next week, I head to New York City, then to San Francisco for one night before heading to LA for the final night and then flying back to St. Louis where I will anxiously see my girls who I miss t terribly. Thanks for tuning in. Mash that like button. Subscribe on YouTube. Everybody knows the drill. Make some comments. We'll see you next week in New York City.